conceptualized and directed by Revdi from the House of Connect Media in association with Be Life Production and Art Tech Studios, Surin Singh and Shraddha Agarwal's produced live story, Salam Penki, is all set to release on the 9th of December 2022. So to, today we have the star cast here along with the captain of the ship, that is Revdi. We have Kajol and we have Vishal Jaitwa along with us. So they are right here. They are going to join us anytime soon. So how are we going to do this once they come here? We are going to start with the Q&A first and then the photo up. So please make sure that everybody is silent and cooperate with us. I will assure that everyone gets clear images and videos of the press conference. Just that you all have to cooperate with us. Salam Bank is releasing on the 9th of December 2022. So I'm hoping everybody will be there to hit the theaters. Alright. Everybody excited? Alright ladies and gentlemen, the star cast of Salam Venki, Kajol, everybody put your hands together as I take the opportunity to welcome the beautiful actress, the evergreen actress Kajol, very warm welcome to you ma'am, welcome to Kolkata, Vishal Jetwa, who doesn't know this guy, he's like a superstar already, welcome to Kolkata, and Ravti, can we have a round of applause ladies and gentlemen, for Ravti, what a masterpiece you have created, which we are we, we have already observed from the trailer. We are super excited for 9th of December 2022. And yes, everybody, the press and media, people of Kolkata are excited to know more about the film. Welcome to Kolkata. Please settle down. Please settle down. Alright. We definitely know that it's not a cakewalk to make a true story, right? How is, like, what are your feelings with this story and what were your preparations when you were thinking that I should go and direct this story and make this for the Indian cinema? Can we have a microphone on stage, please? Like, what is your inspiration? We all want to know that. Thank you, Anisha. Good evening, everybody. Um, really, really talk to you about Salam Menki. It has been a beautiful journey. Sound, sound. Sorry? Audio. Oh, audio, audio. Audio. Sound, audio. audio. Okay. So, um, this, this story is taken from a book called The Last Hura. And Last Hura is a book written by Shrikant Murthy, which is about this boy called Venkatesh in Hyderabad and his mother Sujata. So that is the name of the characters even in the film, Sujata and Venkatesh. It is an amazing story of spirit, of, li of living life to the fullest. Venkatesh was affected by DMD, which is Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And it is a disease where the muscles get wasted and the child normally dies by the age of 16. But how to live life? However short your life is, kitna zindagi achhi tarah jee sakte hai. That is what inspired me and that is what is the crux that zindagi lambi nahi, badi honi chahiye. Which is the dialogue from Anand and that was real Venkatesh's favorite film and favorite line. Thank you so very much ma'am. To Kajol ma'am, how does it feel to be a part of a true story and how different it has been for you? Um, first of all, let me say uh, good evening, Kolkata. Thank you so much uh, for all of you all to come here and I'm really, really happy to be here. 
years. So I'm here after a very long time. Bahut saalon ke baad aari hu. I'm coming after about five years, but it's always amazing to come here. And uh, I've gone into a food coma in the afternoon. Khate khate. I think so. If I'm looking a little sleepy, excuse me. <laughs> okay, coming back to the film. Um, it's a it's 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 a great responsibility actually. Uh, when you have, uh, when you're playing a real life character, or uh, you're, you have, you have to justify that character. You cannot leave the big. If you have to live with the film, and if I have to live with that that film, so does she. And uh, our biggest test will be when she walks, when Sujata walks in and watches the film, and you know, hopefully gives us passing marks in it. <laughs> Uh, but yes, it is a big responsibility, and we do take it very, very seriously. It's not something that uh, you can gloss over or uh, take too many cinematic liberties with. Hopefully, we are sure because she has the right face for Sajata. <laughs> All right, to Vishal, how challenging uh, your character was, and what are the kind of preparations you? Has been taking for this particular role because we have seen you in a very different role when we talk about the other movies. But today we are just talking about Salam Bhaiki and your role, Mr. Bhaiki. Hello, everyone. Namaste. Um, first of all, thank you so much for the well, warm welcome. And kya mana chho? Aami tumhage bhalo baashi. Itna hi thoda sa mujhe aata hai. But uh, yeah, um, first of all, though I would like to start with thanking uh, Revti ma'am and all our makers for believing in me because you said yes, my all the other work is totally different to what I've done in this film, and uh, it was yes, definitely it was challenging for an actor. It is um, it is difficult to portray different different kind of roles each and every time. And after Mardani, people started expecting a lot from me. And uh, now I got this opportunity only because of uh, Revti ma'am, and she she saw Vanki in me, so that was a blessing for me. And uh, I want to thank ma'am for that. And also about preparation, so I didn't know about this disease called DMD. Uh, ma'am had a lot of research on this, and uh, she told me about this disease. And uh, she sent me one video clipping of one and uh, one or one and a half hour uh, video uh, where one DMT patient was there, and I saw his journey throughout the day. How he sits, how he stands, um, uh, what kind of body language he has. So I learned from that, and also, ma'am told me that you just come on set, just prepare your lines, and come on set because we have Kajol ma'am with you. And uh, she just act. You just respond to that, and that uh, you will you will be done. I think you will perform more than what you are thinking. And that is what happened after watching the trailer. I saw that that how how could I perform because of the co-actor? Okay, I won't I won't say co-actor. I'll say co-star like Kajol man. So uh, yeah, it was big opportunity for me, and I am so glad that people are liking the trailer, and I am seeing on, only and only good responses. Thank you. Definitely not just the trailer. The poster speaks a lot as well. <laughs> All right, I open uh, the floor for my press and media members. So whoever is asking their questions, please raise your hand and mention your media house, and then start the question and who the question is for. Please. Uh, but yes, I 
I would say it was an absolute pleasure to see Kamal after so long. Of course, we've met between that time, between Bebudi and uh, Salam Ekki. We have met off and on and we do know what's happening in each other's lives, a little bit at least. But yes, to see somebody on a set after 30 years, it was an amazingly, it was like a surreal experience. I, I was like, is it, it really felt like as though I'd been thrown back in time completely and uh, you know, Yes, lots and lots of memories, lots and lots of memories. And uh, Kamal, I remember, I, I remember mostly, I remember that, uh, I, I remember sitting with him on a bus because that's that was like 90% of our shooting in Canada. We, we were just going from place to place in this big fat bus and we would all be together from like 4 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. And uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing. And you get to know somebody so well when you spend that much amount of time together. So yeah, it was, it was really an amazing experience. Repeat. Because I'm lazy, because I like to work, I don't want to work at all. Work, I feel, work, I feel should be pleasure rather than uh, work. Um, I, fortunately, I have the financial ability to say no and to space my films out. And I choose to exercise that option. Kaji, on this side, uh, to your left. Uh, I can't take, by the way, I can't see you all, so just bear with my whatever. Uh, this is Shobik from India Blooms. Uh, but, uh, I want to know that was it an instant yes to the script because you have already played a similar kind of role in two other films in recent past. So I just want to know this. Uh, it was actually an instant no because uh, <laughs> it was an instant no because I, yes I have played a mother but I don't necessarily do films, I don't do films where uh, you know I have things, you know where there is anything happening to my child. I think after I became a mother, mother, I've become very cautious about that. I don't want to play that kind of role. And I'm very clear about it. Um, so when Revti ma'am actually approached me for the film, I said, you know, ma'am, I deeply respect you and I love you and I think you're one of the most fabulous actors and all that, but I'm not doing your film. So she very graciously anyway decided, she said, but come and hear it anyway, let me come and narrate it to you anyways. Um, so she came and she made me hear the film and I loved the script. I love the way it had been written and I've seen her film, um, I've seen her film which she's done long back called Thir Milenge with Salman and Shilpa Shetty which I thought at that time that it was one of the most sensitively handled films. It was such a well balanced film and it was a very very sensitively handled film and I remember thinking at that time that if I ever got a chance to work with her I would definitely want to. And. Uh, Cut to today happened and I'm listening to the script which is amazing. I'm listening to, Rave, I'm looking at Ravdi ma'am and I know she's going to make a fabulous film. And my first thought was that if I don't do this film, I will regret it. So would I let my fear stop me from doing something that I will regret later? So I closed my eyes and I picked up the phone and I was like, okay ma'am, handle me, sambal lena mujhe. So she very sweetly said, don't worry, I'll take care of you on set. And, uh, you know, we'll manage everything. Uh, what conversation you had uh, with Kajol uh, after she said no to the script? Uh, like she said, I said, just listen to the script. I mean, she did not say no to the script. She said no to the idea. So then, uh, we just decided to go and read the script to her. Samir Arora, who has written the um, screenplay of the film, then Kausarji did the dialogue. So, Samirji had come and he just read. And Samirji has this, um, uh, you know, habit, whenever he reads the script, he starts crying. Because he feels very connected to the story. So that day I told him, you shouldn't cry. I want to see what is Kajol's reaction. You don't dramatize. You just read the script. And he just kept reading and I was only looking at Kajol's face. And then I realized, as an actor, I know, when, uh, you know, whatever happens, whatever your thoughts are before, th there are certain things that touch your heart and the actor in you gets awakened. And like she said, she just wanted to do the, you know, the story, the character. I have to tell you, Kolkata, uh, Kolkata has been a very 
inspiring space for me, uh, the film festivals over here. And I think I was groomed uh, by a lot of filmmakers from Kolkata. And this hall, this particular hall, I had come here with David Gear, Richard Gill's brother, had organized a fabulous conference on HIV and art long back in 2003 or something. And we talked so much about HIV because those days HIV was a very feared uh, you know, disease. And this is where I made a decision. This particular hall is where I made a decision to make Pirmilenge. So I'm really happy to come back here and talk about Salam Ninki. For me, these kind of causes need to be spoken about because there are so many people out there in, the, in our country who are going through such situations. And sometimes films as they are, it's one of the most, um, what do you say, powerful and communicative media. When you talk about it, you know, things in people change. Their perspective changes, their attitude changes. So it was very, it is always important for me to say something through my film which will change at least one person in the audience. So Salah Menki is another attempt and I hope, you know, that change happens within all of us. Thank you. Ma'am, one by one, please. काजल मैडम से सवाल है मैडम काजल मैडम जब ये शूट कर रही थी शूटिंग Uh, 
ओके तो मैं जब इनके साथ बैठता हूँ ऐसे बात करता हूँ तब मैं ज़्यादा नर्वस होता हूँ बट बिटवीन एक्शन एंड कट आई डोंट फील नर्वस बिकॉज दैट टाइम शी इज सुजाता फॉर मी एंड आई एम वेंकटेश तो वेंकटेश को अपनी माँ से डरने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है और इसीलिए हम और इसीलिए हम परफॉर्म भी अच्छे से कर सकते हैं हाँ नर्वसनेस सभी लोगों को होती है बट इस चीज़ की जितनी प्रैक्टिस करेंगे उतना ईजी हो जाता है काम yes. काजल मैडम एक सवाल लाइक एस एड जैसे मैंने कहा कि सुजाता और काजोल दोनों माँ हैं एंड माए जो होती हैं जैसे हम एक्चुअली बात कर रहे थे उसके बारे में हम यहाँ से हम यहाँ पे चलते चलते आ रहे थे और हम बात कर रहे थे कि मदर्स आर केपेबल ऑफ अमेजिंग इम्पॉसिबल फीस दैट वी डोंट इवन रियलाइज आर इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज यू नो हमारे बच्चे हैं सामने और हमको करना ही है और सुजाता का भी किरदार इतना ऐसा ही है कि उसने जो देखा उसके सामने उसने देखा कि ये मुझे ये अगर ये करना है तो उसने देखा नहीं कि उसके सामने स्पीड ब्रेकर है कि माउंटेन है शी जस्ट वेंट हेड उसने सिर्फ देखा कि मुझे कहाँ तक पहुँचना है इसके ऊपर जाना है इसके अराउंड जाना है अंदर से जाना है जहाँ से भी जाना है मुझे वहाँ तक ही पहुँचना है और उसका जो लक्ष्य था वो बहुत ही बहुत ही क्लियर था और आई थिंक एवरी मदर फील्स लाइक दैट एवरी मदर फील्स लाइक दैट दैट वॉट जो हम अपने बच्चों के लिए करते थे कहते हैं ना कि माँ माँ बच्चे का जो रिलेशनशिप uh, होता है इट्स प्रॉबेबली द प्योरेस्ट रिलेशनशिप इन द वर्ल्ड द ओनली रिलेशनशिप विच इज़ अनकंडीशनल हर दूसरा रिलेशनशिप जो होता है दुनिया में आपके भाई का यू नो योर हजबेंड वट एवर अदर अदर पीपल इन योर लाइफ विल ऑलवेज हैव कंडीशन आर यू गुड पर्सन आर यू आर यू इनफ आर यू नॉट इनफ बट द मदर चाइल्ड इज रिलेशनशिप इज द वन रिलेशनशिप विच इज ट्रूली ट्रूली अनकंडीशनल सो येस आई थिंक दैट इज द बिगेस्ट सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन काजो एंड सुजाता मैम वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज हेलो मैम आई कुछ नहीं दे रहा आप पूछो सवाल अभी मैम वॉट विल यू चेंज योर माइंड फ्रॉम नो टू येस फॉर दिस फिल्म that you said you are very conscious of uh, after your giving I, your birth i have actually answered this question maine jawab diya hai because i honestly felt that i if i did not accept this film i love the script i love revi ma'am i knew that she would make a good film and i knew that if i did not do this film i would regret it for the rest of my life so thank you sir revi ma'am i'll say that thank you revi ma'am from the bottom of my heart for letting me play sujatha
We'll start with the photo op and please be calm. We'll remove the chairs first and then we'll start. Alright? We'll remove the chairs for the photo op and I would also like to invite Mrs. Surat Singh and Ms. Shraddha Agarwal to kindly join us on stage, the producers of Salam Bakki. I left to right, I'm going to show you. Mom, we start from left to left, center to right. 